on today's segment of Irv Vernacular TV. Irv Vernacular TV, sparking conversation, being blunt. A nuclear Iran. A nuclear Iran. The United States and the P5, the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, are in negotiation with Iran once again to establish the nuclear deal. If you're not aware of what the nuclear deal was, the Joint Comprehension Plan of Action that was put in place by the Obama administration with the P5 plus one, which they, 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 they made a deal with Iran that would curb the Iranian nuclear program. But as Israel advocate and Israel ally as President Trump came to power, he ripped the deal up and got rid of the deal. Many factions within the United States believe that Iran is chasing nuclear weapons. And the Zionist state factions are strong in this drive. And many other Western nations in, in France, Great Britain, Germany, these nations believe that Iran is chasing after a nuclear weapon. Ambition to get a nuclear weapon. Nuclear proliferation is real. All these nations are trying to develop a mechanism of deterrence. And nuclear weapon will be seen as that. We see that with North Korea. Pakistan have nuclear weapon. India have nuclear weapon. According to Pres former President Jimmy Carter, Israel has nuclear weapon. Then you got the five permanent member of the Security Council. United States, China, France, Great Britain, Russia. Plus one, Germany. All these nations have nuclear weapon. Germany give up its nuclear weapon after the defeat of Nazism. But Iran wants nuclear weapon. A nuclear Iran. A nuclear Iran will send shockwave to the international system because Iran is always threatening to close the Strait of Hormuz, where two thirds of the world of the world oil supply passes through the Middle East in the Persian Gulf. Iran wants to close the Strait of Hormuz. Iran says that if she is threatened of attack by Israel and the United States, it will close the Strait of Hormuz. A nuclear Iran will send shockwave to the international order and that can be allowed. Israel believe that Iran wants to develop nuclear weapons. Israel and Iran, they are arch enemy. Iran have its proxies in the Middle East in Hezbollah, Hamas. Iran have created a corridor in Syria back in Bashar Assad to oppose Israel in many regards and create complexity for Israel Hegemony within that region. In nuclear Iran, the IAEA have suspicion of past Iranian nuclear work with its military application. In nuclear Iran, we send shockwave to the international order. President Joe Biden is negotiating a deal to get back into the nuclear, the JCPOA that President Trump tore up that former President Obama signed into place. Joe Biden needs some, some leeway to get out of the crisis that we are in and Iranian oil will be seen as a factor. So coming up with a deal would be beneficial to the Democratic Party. But the Republican oppose it and you know Israel oppose it. Saudi Arabia also opposed a nuclear Iran. In truest thought, Saudi Arabia opposes the Iranian revolution because the Iranian revolution poses a threat to Saudi Arabia. In nuclear Iran, what would a nuclear Iran do for the international context to oil politics, to geopolitics within the Persian Gulf? 
As you see, Russia has its own thing going. China got its own thing going with Taiwan, Russia, and Ukraine. Is nuclear Iran going to be a catastrophe to the international system? But is it the Iran nuclear program that is bothering the West? Because the United States helped Iran develop some of it, its nuclear application on a former president, the Shah. Before the 1979 revolution came in, which has opposed the United States within Iran. The Ayatollahs have stand still. The revolution have lasted. And that revolution posed a threat to Saudi Arabia. That revolution posed a threat to Israel. The ideology of that revolution in nuclear Iran will pose a danger kickback to the United States hegemony in that region to western hegemony in that region to, to israel ambition and, he and hegemony in that region to saudi arabia ambition and hegemony in that region iran pose a threat and nuclear iran would be detrimental to the whole entire persian gulf and the middle east nuclear proliferation is a current topic of the time Many states are trying to acquire nuclear weapon because the regime within those states feel like it will be able to withstand the test of time, will be able to withstand the United States per se, a Western or NATO aggression per se. Russia is increasing its nuclear weapons. China, the United States, Pakistan, India, Israel, and all the nuclear substance that is on the black market. A nuclear proliferation. It's the conversation of the time. Can't you imagine a nuclear Iran? We shall see as the deal unfold between the P5 plus one and Iran pertaining to their nuclear ambition. How do we curve Iranian nuclear ambition as far as trying to get nuclear weapon? How do we bring the other states in that region with nuclear weapon to the table to have conversation about a nuclear free Middle East, a nuclear weapon free Middle East, and a nuclear weapon free world, the P5 plus one. But those are only, you know, a utopia of a dream. In, you know, realism and in real politic, states need nuclear weapons to survive. Regime need nuclear weapons to survive. In nuclear Iran, can't you believe that?